Uh, if we go back around 70,000 years, then we find that our ancestors, Homo sapiens, that lived in East Africa back then, were insignificant animals. The most important thing you need to know about our ancestors is that they were unimportant animals. Their impact on the world, on the ecological system, was not much greater than that of chimpanzees or fireflies or jellyfish or woodpeckers or many other uh, uh, species of, of... And if you place me and a chimpanzee together on some lonely island to see who survives better, I would definitely place my bets on the chimpanzee, not on myself. And I don't think it is something wrong with me personally. I guess if they took almost any one of you and placed you alone on some lonely island with a chimpanzee, the chimpanzee would probably do better. So it's not on the individual level that we need to look for the secret of success of our species. It's rather on the collective level, right effectively, uh, in order to create this global exchange of ideas. This is something that chimpanzees, again, cannot do. Chimpanzees certainly convey information to one another, but you never see a chimpanzee leaving his band and going to the territory of a distant chimpanzee band to give them a talk about bananas or about elephants or about humans or, or something else that might interest chimpanzees. It never happens. Of course, cooperation is not always nice. We usually associate cooperation like with Sesame Street, where we teach children to cooperate and be nice to each other, but should be emphasized that cooperation is also responsible for all the terrible things that humans have been doing throughout history, whether it's armies or slaughterhouses or prisons or concentration camps. All of these are also examples of unique ways of mass cooperation that only humans have. Chimpanzees don't have slaughterhouses and prisons and concentration camps. It's uniquely, uh, uniquely human uh, ways of cooperating. Only humans can believe such stories, which is why we control the world and not the chimpanzees. As long as millions of people all believe in the same story they all follow the same laws, the same norms, they all believe in the same values, and this is what enables even complete strangers to cooperate effectively. In our era, not the people who won Nobel Prize in literature, they are not really good storytellers. The best storytellers in the world, they should really receive the Nobel Prize for literature. They are the chairman of the Federal Reserve, they are the big bankers, the finance ministers. They tell the best stories in the world. They come to us and they say, you see this green piece of paper? We are telling you that it is worth 10 bananas. And if I believe it and you believe it and everybody believes it, it actually works. I can take this worthless green piece of paper, go to the supermarket, give it to a complete stranger whom I've never met before, and he will give me real bananas in exchange, which I can actually eat.